Hey guys, Ben from Enzo Game Top. Welcome back to more Yu Gi Oh! Legacy Duels. Last time we dueled as Shark against uh, a spirit known as Abyss, taking control of his sister, and we won. It was a pretty straightforward and easy duel, and we were able to grab the next of the Mithril number cards in the process. This time we're going to be doing Clash of the Emperors, and it seems like we're going to be dueling as Alatel, it seems, so this will be really interesting. So let's get started with this. So, all seven Barian Emperors appeared in human form. Shark, what are you doing with the Barians? Shark, it's been a long time since anyone called me by that name. But I'm not Shark or Reginald anymore. My name is Nash. Nash the Barian. Go Barian Battlemorph. Oh, okay, so... Huh. So maybe we're not dueling as Alito? Maybe it's Nash? I don't know. Like, that's the thing. These guys have all, like, crazy designs. So it's, like, hard to tell. We'll figure it out. Anyway. We are the Seven Barian Emperors. Mizar, the One True Galaxy Eyes Master. Girag, the Ultimate Barian Warrior. Alito, the Barian who battles with Fists of Fury. Vector, need I say more? Uh, Marin, the name that brings chills to everyone's hearts. Dumon, my faithful friend, but your greatest enemy. And I am Nash, leader of the seven Barian Emperors. I can't believe Shark is the leader of the Barians. The Barian Emperors then defeated Trey, Quattro, and Quintin in separate duels. Wow, okay, so those guys made a return and lost pretty easily. Huh, these guys are no joke then. Wow. Astro spoke with Yuma on how to battle the Barians. Instead of fighting the seven Barian Emperors, let us eliminate the source and defeat Don Thousand instead. Don Thousand is the great Barian deity I defeated long ago. But he must be ha he must have resurrected, for only his great power could cause this much destruction. Then let's go to Barian World and beat him. So, so Yuma, Astral, and friends traveled in the airship to Barian World. Meanwhile, Ve meanwhile, Vector began absorbing all of the Barian emperors at the command of Don Thousand. Marin, Alto. Girag and Dumon already fell to him. Vector now set his sights on Nash. So yeah, we will be going as Nash then. I've been waiting for you, Nash. Vector, you'll pay for the pain you caused Marin and Dumon. And let me guess, you're going to be the one to make me pay? Oh, I'm so terrified. You should be. Temper, temper. You have serious anger in issues, don't you know? I think this is... You think this is funny? Yes, because it's hard to take you seriously. But since you're not amused by my razor-sharp wit, let's skip to the part where I finish you. Alright, so there we go. Turns out Shark was not Shark or Reginald, but actually a Barian Emperor, and so was his sister. And now we're going to be dueling as his Barian true form, I guess. Uh, let's go with paper. Hey, there we go. We're on... Alright, go second as usual. And we're gonna go in, and we're dueling against Vector again. So this is really Man, a lot of plot twists, you know? You think you know a guy, and then it turns out no, I'm actually this Barian dude and all that stuff. So Man, that's that's crazy. And you're start we're starting off pretty pretty fiercely. Alright, I'm not gonna activate anything right now. First off, I want to see what we have in the extra deck. We have number C73, Abyss Supra Splash. Alright, so, three level six monsters, that's a lot. If a monster you control battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation in either partner player's turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card once per battle. Your battling monster gains attack equal to the attack of the opposing monster that is battling during only damage calculation, 
If this card has number 73 Aqua Abyss Splash uh, as XYZ material against this effect, this card cannot be destroyed by card effects. Oh, that's really good. And then you have number C101 Silent Honor Dark. Ooh. Once per turn, you can target one special summon monster your opponent controls, attach it to this card as a face up XYZ material. Uh, when this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard while it has XYZ material, you can special summon this card from your graveyard, then gain life points equal to the number the, to the original attack of this card. Wow. Uh, number 101 Silent Honor Arc must be in your graveyard to activate and resolve this effect. If this card is special summoned this way, it cannot attack for the rest of this turn. That's, that's pretty good. We have number 73 Abyss Sla Splash. Mm, two level fives. Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card, double this card's attack until the end of your opponent's turn. Also, any battle damage it inflicts to your opponent this turn is halved. Alright, so it's like a positive and a negative. So, uh, the card's attack gets doubled, but damage is halved. But, still useful to destroy really anything. We have 101 Silent Honor Arc. Detach, so that's two level fours. Detach two XYZ materials from this card, then target one special summon monster your opponent controls and face up attack position. Attach it to this card as a material. Uh, you can only use this effect once per turn, even though you'd only have two materials anyway. Um, if this face up card would be destroyed, you can detach one material from this card instead. Yeah, we have a lot of good stuff right now. Wow, that's, that's pretty impressive. So we have Shock the Puss. Um, if you control a water monster, you can normal summon this card without tributing. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm going to want that. Uh, target one face of monster on the field and activate one of these effects. Increase that target's level by one, reduce it by one. Rank up magic quick chaos. Target one number XYZ monster you control, except the number C from your monster. Special summon from your extra deck. One number C monster with the same number in its name as the target, but one rank higher. But by using it as an XYZ material... Um, this special summon is treated as an XYZ summon, XYZ material attached to that target, also become XYZ material to summon monster. We got XYZ Rem Remora, uh, special summon from a hand by detaching two XYZ materials from monsters you control. If you do, target two level 4 mo monster fish types uh, in your graveyard, special summon those in defense position. Their using effects are negated, and they cannot attack or change their battle positions, and cannot be used as XYZ material except for the XYZ summon of a water monster. And then Aqua Jet. Okay, so first off, I think I know what I want to do. I'm gonna summon Shock to Bus first, right? Start off with that, and then I'm going to. Oh, I can't summon it this turn. Okay, that's kind of a mistake on my part. Um, oops. Uh, all right, fair enough. Uh, well, next turn. Okay, so first. Well, I guess I'll use Aqua Jet on this, so that way it gains attack, so it can't be destroyed. That would work. Um, and then what I'll do next turn is I'll summon my Cyber Shark, um, and then, because this is a water type, I'll activate Star Changer onto him, and then I'll summon... Um, what would I want to summon? Three level sixes for... Abyss Super Splash. I really like this card. I really like this card. It's got a powerful attack and all that, so I want to summon him. So C73, 73 regulars, two level fives. So this would work perfectly, and then I could use this to get the um, C70, whatever. Is it 75 or is it 73? I think I'm reading it wrong. Yeah, it's 73. Anyway, okay, so Shocktopus, um, attack. Your the Archfiend Cavalry and uh, destroy that. And since it has 2600 attack, I doubt it will be destroyed. So next turn I can complete this plan of mine and then get C73 out on the field. And that will just make life a lot easier. So let's see where Vector goes with this. He's going to play a card in face down defense mode. Alright. Ooh, Raincap Magic, the, 70, the seventh one. That is okay. Interesting. Let's uh let's see what that does. So to activate this card, you must draw it for your normal draw in your draw phase. Reveal it and keep it revealed until the start of main phase. Okay, maybe I should have read that first. <laughs> Oops. 
and keep it revealed until the start of main phase one. At the start of your main phase one, that same turn, you can special summon from your extra deck or graveyard one monster that has a number between 101 and 107 in its name, except C monsters. Then XYZ summon from your extra deck one monster. Oh man, uh, yeah, I screwed that up. Good to know for next time if I don't. Um, so yeah, there we go, and then. And then summon um, the number C variant of it, and then uh, you can only apply this once per duel. I see. All right. Well, fair enough. We know for now. So first off, Cyber Shark, I'm gonna summon you, and yeah, I'm gonna summon without tributing. Um, next, hmm. Alright, I think what I want to do first is I'm going to battle phase. So, uh, Cyber Shark, destroy his face down monster. Right? And then, Shocktopus, attack directly just to do some damage. And then, next, in my main phase 2, I'm going to activate Star Changer on Shocktopus and increase that target's level by one. Then, I'm going to summon my Abyss Splash from these two. I wanted to like just get that attack in, because, I mean, extra damage, it's good. Put him in attack mode for now. Doesn't matter, because I'm going to just fix things up later with my Rank Up Magic Quick Chaos. Use it on this, and I'm going to summon my C73. So there we go. We got C73 on the field, and this thing is safe. Like that's the thing. Like if he somehow, you know, if Vector somehow just gets a monster that's more powerful than this, it's safe because of his effect. So there we go. We are we're pretty good right now. So. Oh, and I can special summon this card from your hand by detaching two XYZ materials from monsters you control. When you do, you can target them. Hmm. I might want to do that next turn. I'm not going to do it now, but I'm going to maybe do that next turn. So we'll end turn for now. I really should have read uh, Rank Up Magic the seventh one first uh, before anything else, but oh well. Vector's playing really defensively. That's the problem. Um, Alright, we got another Rank Up Magic Quick Chaos. So, special summon this card from your hand by detaching two XYZ materials from monsters you control. When you do target two level four fish type monsters in graveyard, special summon those targets in face up defense position. Effects are negated. Cannot attack or change battle positions. Cannot be used for the XYZ summoning unless it's water type. So, what do I have that would be level fours, right? Um, hmm, would be this. So. You can attach two exposures. All right, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna activate that effect. Special summon you from detaching materials from this. Wait, actually, do I want to do that? Let me let me look at this card again. So, if a monster you control battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation in either player's turn, you can detach one material from this card once per battle. Your battling monster gains attack equal to the attack of the opponent's monster is battling during damage calculation only. If this card has number 73 as a material, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. So it only needs to detach one material. Now, as the duel is going right now, he's going to just keep summoning one monster at a time. So yeah, I'm going to active. I'm going to special summon my Remora. By um, yeah, I'm going to do. Wait, actually, never mind. I don't think I even have... I don't even have two level fours. Although... I'd only need one. Right? Because it's two to summon... Yeah, it's two level fours to summon that. So, yeah, let's just do it. So, detach you and... Detach you put you in defense mode
Okay, how did I do that wrong? Okay, so... I guess maybe I needed two level fours? Huh. Alright, fair enough. Then maybe this will draw something out. Next turn I can... Summon. Oh, well. Oh, no. Well, wait, hold on. Shouldn't that be... Okay. When an opponent's XYZ monster declares an attack, after activates his card by targeting the attacking monster, it cannot attack. Also, it's effects are negated. While that monster is on the field, during each of your opponent's end phases, send the top three cards of your opponent's deck to the graveyard. When that monster leaves the field, destroy this card. Okay, that's a problem. Um, cannot be destroyed by, but it's still affected by. Okay, that's not good. Um, we're going to have to fix that later. And yeah, I'm going to have to send cards to my graveyard. Great. Those were some good cards right there. Uh, we'll figure it out. Things will get better. Yeah, you're going to summon your Archfiend Cavalry. And you're going to flip up that. And you're going to summon... What are you summoning? Number 103. Okay, that's bad. And you're summoning that. And a Call of the Haunted. Okay, this is getting even worse now. Alright. Um, it's going to do piercing damage. No, I don't want to activate any effects. It's fine. And you take a lot of damage, but it destroys my monster. And you direct attack me. Alright. That's fine. I can fix this. It's not too late. Alright, maybe we got problems. Oh, wait. If your opponent controls two or more monsters, you can normal summon this card without tributing. If you control Eagle Shark, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only control one Panther Shark, alright. That's the problem, is that... I guess summon him in attack mode, but it's better than nothing, I guess. So, we'll just, um... I really should have activated Rank Up Magic the 7th one. Uh, if only I read things. Alright. So I think what I'll do is I'll summon my Panther Shark. Yeah. There, that's the only thing I can do is just summon this um, to have like a little bit of a defensive wall. So let's see, that's 700 damage, 2400, so that's like 3100 damage. I would have 1500 left. If he draws a monster, this could be it. We'll see. This is a tough duel. Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's game. All right. If I, if only I read Bring Up Magic, this, you know, that would have, that would have helped. Oh well, okay, let's try this again. I think we had the right idea. Like, we had a good strategy going in. But, you know, trap cards and stuff happened, so. Let's try this again. Uh, but yeah, lesson learned. Uh, make sure to activate that rank up magic the seventh one immediately and then also make sure you have two level four water type monsters in the graveyard you know at the beginning so all right you're going with mass chameleon and i'm gonna draw a level three all right so i got a lot of different stuff so we got level four um panther shark so Butunum awful princess, something like that. Alright, when this card is normal summoned or special summoned, you can banish this card, uh, special summon one level four lower fish type monster from your deck, except this card. Uh, you can only use this effect once per turn. Alright. And then Skull Kraken. When this card is normal summoned, you can target one face up spell card your opponent controls, destroy it once per turn. You can change the battle position of the card. Alright. Um, what do I want to start with? See, I could summon this, and special summon one level four lower fish type monster from my deck. Yeah, let's, um, let's do that effect. Because I can get anything I really want. So, banish this card. What do I want then? Ooh. Get my shark. Yeah, we'll go with the uh, Metablo Shark and put you in attack mode. 
and I think I'll activate Aqua Jet on him just because uh, he has Vet Vector has 1900 point monsters, so you know that could be bad. So we'll put that on you, and then need some more level five monsters, but at the same time I I'll be okay. So battle phase attack his chameleon and that will be good for there really we're gonna be fine I think if I can summon shock the plus next turn we can get see ooh swords are revealing light not good hmm although ooh if your opponent controls two or more monsters you can normal summon this card without tributing if you control panther shark you can special summon this card from your hand you can only control one eagle shark alright and then, hmm, so I can summon this by tributing my Metablo Shark, and then I can summon Eagle Shark, and then I can summon the 73, and then I could do the other thing. Hmm, although Skull Kraken, I can destroy Swords of Revealing Light. However, wait, let's... What's 101's Abyss's effect? Or, not Abyss, but Silent Horror Honor. So, um, you can detach two materials, then target one special summon monster your opponent controls, and attach it to this card. Alright, so that's not, like, spell card destruction stuff. So, I think I'll go with this plan. I'll summon my Skull Crack in attack mode, so that way I can get rid of Swords of Revealing Light. I'll attack directly, and then I'll activate Skull Kraken's other effect to put him in defense mode. I think that's the best plan for right now. So attack directly, and attack directly. Um, yeah, I thought so. I thought he had a called Haunted Waiting for the other attack. Uh, no, I don't want to continue that attack. Main phase 2. Maybe I, in hindsight, should have attacked with Skull Kraken first, just so that way he wouldn't even have his Chameleon. Uh, but everything will be okay. Community can't destroy Skull Kraken, so... Next turn, however, we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get a good monster out. Playing defensively, alright. Hmm. Oh, man, we got a lot of stuff going. If you control a Water-type monster, you can normal summon this card without tributing. Alright, what do I want to do? That's the question. There's many paths to this. Hmm. Alright, if your no opponent controls two or more monsters, you can normal summon this card without tributing. Hmm. 1,100 attack. 2,100 attack. Let's see, so I destroy him, attack with Metabo Shark. Or... But wait! Okay, let's say hypothetically I get C101 out, right? You can target one, sp uh, one special summon monster your opponent controls attached to this card. Oh, yeah, okay, I know what I need to do. Alright, first off, I'm going to summon my uh, Panther Shark by sacrificing my Skull Kraken. Alright, this is perfect. I can win this turn easily. Next, I'm going to special summon my Eagle Shark in attack mode. And then, next, I'm going to... Oh, wait, I think I... Oh, okay, I was... Okay, I was reading 101's effects, not 73's effects. Oh, well. Um... Uh, that's fine, that's fine. This works, too. Um... Player's turn, you detach one material of the discard attack until the end of your opponent's turn. Also, any battle damage or inflicts this turn is also halved. Okay. Well, we're gonna summon this anyway. That's fine. I was I was thinking that these would make the um, C101, but no. That's okay. Um, I think what I would like to do actually, because I know I have that other card in my hand in my deck somewhere, the um, the one that allows me to just automatically summon the 101 and then the C101. So, I think, actually, what's uh, C101's effect compared to this? So, if a monster you control battles and opponent's monitor during battle 
damage calculation. Either any of the player's turn, you can detach one material from this card. Your battling monster gains attack equal to the attack of your opponent's monster is battling during damage ca calculation only, uh, and it cannot be destroyed by card effects. So, let me just think here. So that's 3,000. I still have to destroy this. However, this is 24, and I can detach a material to double this card's attack until the end, but the battle damage it inflicts is halved. So never mind. Um, yeah, we'll activate Rank Up Magic Quick Chaos. Actually, hmm. Do I want to do that? Yeah, I think I know what I want to do. So I'll use Rank Up Magic Quick Chaos to get C, uh, C73 out. I'll destroy the Chameleon with Metabo Shark, and then I'll attack with this. And yeah, and next turn I'll be okay. So we'll activate this on you to get C73. I mean, I'm a little hesitant about it, because he could have that card that he used to stop it last time, but at the same time, I think I'm okay. Uh, we'll put you in attack mode. I think everything will be fine, because, I mean, I don't want it to be destroyed by card effects either. So, we'll just battle phase. So, Metabolo Shark, destroy his Chameleon. And now, Abyss... Super Splash, attack directly, fingers crossed that you don't have it. You do have it. Alright, so... I gotta, I just gotta be more careful about it, I guess. Alright. We're gonna end turn. That's fine. I can take the, I can take the loss. And it, it might help me find the, um, the other thing anyway, so... Okay, you're summoning your Mass Chameleon in attack mode. Interesting. Well, I mean, you have to because it's called the Haunted, I guess, so that's fine. So, let's see here. Hmm. What do I want to do? I can... I can't attack with this. I'll just summon him. Yeah, I'm going to tribute... I'm going to normal summon without tributing. And then, yeah, we'll just attack the Mask Chameleon with this... Like this card, and then attack directly with this card. I think that's the best way I can do this, is just attack with my normal monsters. Yes? Can I... It's an effect... However, the effects are negated, aren't they? So, let's try it. But, uh, I feel like an effects are negated anyway, so... We'll discard Panther Shark. Yeah, it's negated anyway. It was worth a shot, though. When an opponent's monster declares attack, target one level four. Yeah, fair enough. You're gonna just protect your life points anyway. But yeah, continue to attack. Although I feel like it can't be destroyed, right? Yeah. Pinpoint guard makes it so it can't be destroyed for that turn. And I lose three cards. Fair enough. I'm gonna have to win this duel pretty quickly though. Um. Oh uh, no, you get summoned. All right. Let's see where this goes. Yeah, level... This has, like, what, 2400 attack, if I remember? Yeah. So you can destroy my one card. Or you can destroy both. And, oh boy, this is even worse. <laughs> this is even worse. Alright, so I think maybe the best course of action for this duel going forward is to never summon anything. Like... I can't activate the uh, effect, so no, I can't do that. Alright, I'll take the hit, that's fine. Alright. I need to get rid of this card, the trap card. Alright. Let's see what to do, what to do. Um, Alright, so if this card, if this face up card would be destroyed, you can detach two materials from this card instead. If that last XYZ material is attached from this card and flicked up to 1,500 1, damage to your opponent, if this card has a 102 star um, card as its material, don't have to worry about that for now. 
Shock to plus his effect. Uh, when this card is destroyed by battle with an opponent's monster and sent to the graveyard, you come to this monster. Hmm. Maybe I should just... I think I gotta do this. I gotta suicide play into Archfiend Seraph to make, it atta make its attack zero. And then next turn I can summon something to destroy it, and then we can go from there. So that's my idea right now, is just suicide into it. Because that's the only way I can take care of it right now. So yeah, destroy it, but destroy yourself, and then activate the effect of Shocktopus. So now you attack zero. And I know this can't attack still, and I'm going to lose three cards, but maybe I can next turn get something going. Alright, I'm losing a lot of my cards. Mystical Space Typhoon, Oh man, you had that waiting. Man, this is tough. Although I got another shock to plus. I have another shock to plus. Do I dare make that play again? Yes, I do. Um, because that's the only way this is gonna work out. Is if I do it like this. Yeah, I'm gonna activate the effect. And there you go, and yeah, this can't attack or activate effects, so if it could, everything would be, be okay, but it can't, so we have pro we have these problems. However, next turn, I really, oh, dude, I only have like five turns left, not even actually. Oh boy, this is not going well. All right. Oh, you made a mistake, buddy. You made a horrible mistake. Oh, I am saved right now. I am saved. Once per turn, you can make this card's attack zero, and if you do special summon that thing, something, he may have taken the hit to destroy my monster, but that's the problem, Vector, is that you just killed yourself. Because I can summon my summoner monk. All this card's face up on the field. It cannot be tributed if this card is normal or flip. Summon changes it to this card to defense position once. Never mind, we're not summoning you. We're summoning this, so I can banish this card to special summon a level 4 or lower fish-type monster from my deck. So there we go. We're going to activate this card. And we're going to get another Matabo Shark in attack mode. Alright. And then now, shovel whatever I have left in my deck. But now I'm going to attack your monster... And which has no effects whatsoever that can stop me, and I win the duel. There you go. So, yeah, I think this is like another duel where the opponent just kind of like killed themselves for me. You know, we had that uh, shark duel back at the duel carnival where he special summoned all his monsters with soul charge and uh, killed himself that way. Now we have Vector killing himself by activating effects and suiciding into my monster that couldn't attack or activate effects. It was basically worthless. You didn't need to destroy it, but you did anyway, so it all works out. Impossible. How could I lose to you? Well, you, like I said, you suicide yourself. You know, you, you drained all your life points just to destroy my monster that couldn't do anything. So, I mean, bad play, you know? And that's all the story there is. So, yeah, there we go. We managed to beat Vector after he kind of lent us a helping hand. So, next time... We're going to be doing the new world, doing as somebody new against Don Thousand, it seems. So this will be really interesting. So I will see you guys then.